It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC North. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport, historic Soldier Field in Chicago. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Partner, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. Here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time. They're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft out of USC. It's Sam Darnold. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. The man who traded green and gold for Viking purple is Aaron Jones. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle gets him down behind the line. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. third and short yardage and here's Darnold a game there of 11 it'll be a Vikings first down and this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game you understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy and we're going to just keep giving him a chance a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and 10 They'll put Addison in motion. They run on the jet sweep. And he tries to get to the edge, but cannot do it. Good job by the defense. No game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming. But guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away.
So on fourth down, out comes Ryan Wright to punt for Minnesota. The veteran DeAndre Carter deep for Chicago. And a pretty good punt there. The fair catch taken right around the 11-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. On third down, it's Williams. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth-round pick, Torrey Taylor, to punt for Chicago. Brandon Powell returns for the Vikings. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Vikings offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. The drive begins with a carry by Jones. He'll manage only a couple. Jaquan Brisker there to bring him down. Look him up on a second down and eight. To throw is Darnold. A throw there on second down going to be incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. Throwing on third down is Darnold. And that is incomplete. This pass rush is continuing to make their presence felt here in the early going and for this quarterback he's lucky to at least get rid of that ball because they were on the verge of recording their second sack and we're still here in the first quarter here's ryan right now he's on for the second time to try to get something inside the tent and he'll get something there on the return able to take this back to the 20 yard line the bears offense ready for their second possession they were three and out first time around. They'll begin anew here in this scoreless game. It's first and ten. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. He'll gain three out of this up to the 23.
second and seven. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss. But not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss. But it's still stopped for no gain. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. He'll try and get there on the ground. You can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. They're trying the left side with Swift. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. And these are the throws that when they evaluate young quarterbacks coming out of college, they want to see you be able to make. Everyone worries about how far you can throw the ball. And while that's certainly important, to be able to make the throws from sideline to sideline, especially in those intermediate zones, drive the ball through space, because in this league, an open window is going to close in a hurry. Number 14 with a pickup of 14. And a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's second and nine. Here's Williams now to throw. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Bears! When you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. He gets it to go, and the Bears will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. To return, it's Brandon Powell. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Vikings offense ready to get back at it. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down.
They'll run it with Jones to begin this drive. And he's got some space. Up past the 30 to about the 32-yard line. A pickup of seven. Second down and three. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play in this opening quarter. Here's a second and nine. Out of the gun, they give it to Jones. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Darnold to throw. He's got a receiver. It's Addison. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. Darnold. Quick throw here is complete. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to die. Well, cover of the sideline, and it's intercepted. It's the veteran safety, Kevin Byer. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception. But in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. The Bears offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and 10. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And the defense quick to surround him there as he'll manage to get up only to about the seven. Second down and eight. Here comes Swift, they toss it right. Not what they hope down there. He's given ground, going to lose yardage. I'll mark him back at the six-yard line. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. 
On third down, it's Williams from the gun. That's caught. It's the tight end, Komet. A beautiful play and a big chunk play as well. Right to midfield. The defense is just going to have to find a way, Mike, frankly, to just make this more challenging from the time the quarterback has in the pocket to the amount of separation the receiver has downfield. At this level, that is just too easy. They've got to tighten up both their coverage and find a way to get some pressure on the quarterback because if they don't do either, expect a lot more big chunk plays like we just saw there. I'll give up the middle with Swift. Not a whole lot there as he'll work it down to the 46. From the interior, Harrison Phillips there for the tackle. Here's a second and six. A play fake. Now Williams. Gonna look deep. Looking for more. The veteran Harrison Smith around the ball like he's been most of his career. I think that's one of those cases where he just tried to put a little bit too much on it and fit it into that window, Mike, and sails it high. Give his guy a chance to bring that one down. Put that ball on his chest and help him secure that catch. At this level, when you're that open, that ball has to be completed. He'll try to run for it. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. On first down, it's Swift. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Blake Cashman up from the linebacker's spot to make the tackle. They face second down and seven. Now, Williams. Toss right side to the tight end, Komet. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. When you decide to throw the ball on third and one, typically, Mike, what you're doing is you start from the top down. If you have the big shot downfield, take it. If not, the quarterback works through his progression, finds the medium target, picks up a first down. They'll go play action here with Williams. loose football the Vikings have got it and there it is the defense comes up with the big play forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field coming up Greg with a big turnover taking the ball away Mike has really become an art form in the NFL some teams are good at it some teams not so much but in this case great job by the defense taking that one away the Vikings offense ready to get back to work They'll begin with first and ten. Now Darnold to the middle of the field, taken in by Addison. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. Open man downfield. It's Hawkinson. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. That one good for 29.
two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We'll come back to Soldier Field following this. On first and 10, here's Darnold. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was looking for Jordan Addison that time. It's second down. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient. But at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? Here's a third down and four. Darnold to the air once more. That's caught by Jones out of the backfield. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. So on now is John Parker Romo to try the field goal. This from an even 50 yards out. Romo's kick is good. And the Vikings are on the board. It's seven to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Tyler Scott he'll work his way across the 25 yard line so out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more the lead sits at four so they'll try to add on to that this drive begins with first and ten Off play action. Here's Williams. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They don't want to repeat a first down, so they'll keep it on the ground now. He'll gain three out of this, up to the 23. Third and long. Once again, they keep it on the ground. That's a second charge timeout for Minnesota as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining until halftime. Here's Tory Taylor now, as he's on to punt for the second time. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins 
with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He's going to keep it himself. The Vikings go ahead and use their final timeout. And it'll come with 15 seconds to play in this first half. They'll come up here on second down and five. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Third and five. Throwing, Darnold. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. The punter remains on the sideline. They're going to line up and go for it on fourth down. They do indeed snap it as they'll try and throw. He's got his tight end, Hawkinson. Well, you can see the entire sideline and, frankly, the entire fan base kind of holding their breath. That decision on your own side of midfield to go for it on fourth down, had they not gotten it, that's a tough position to put your defense in, but that's a conversation for another day. The offense is going to stay on the field after the conversion, and now they got to see, can they take advantage of that aggressive play call and finish this drive with points? So we've reached the intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, we're Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. LeBaire's offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Here's Williams. Trying to get away, but he will not. They finally run him down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Williams to throw on second down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. 
third and long. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And this ball incomplete on third down. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. This kick hangs up, and a fair catch will be taken beyond the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll start out first down and 10. Here's Jones. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. Here's Darnold. Open man downfield. It's Addison. And he will go all the way. Jordan Addison. Touchdown, Minnesota. Well, that was a pretty easy touchdown. He was wide open, Greg. Easy chance to close the deal, and they do with a touchdown. And, Mike, it just appears to me that's just a breakdown defensively. You can't allow a receiver to not only be so open it's an easy pitch and catch, but then to have the space to operate after the catch to finish that one off in the end zone. The extra point by Romo is good. And the Vikings are on top. It's now 10-7. to Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bears' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. They will run it over center with Swift. And he'll get about five. A play fake. And they'll throw with Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. On third down, it's Williams. And that is incomplete. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. The Bears sending out their punt team as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. 
The visitors' offense and Jordan Addison getting ready to get back on the field. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Darnold now to throw. This one is caught by Addison. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. Nice way to start the drive here. Really good protection by the guys up front. Good decision by the quarterback to find his read. Ball's accurate. Ball's on time. Now they're able to start this drive and get on the move the right way. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, here's Darnold. Now he'll run. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. To the right side. This is Jones. And he'll get this down to the 40. That's a nice run. And it's also first down. That's quickly out to Jefferson. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around. But it falls incomplete. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. That's caught left side by Hawkinson. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Carter on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense ready for this next possession. The deficit, six points. So a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That's to the longtime charger, it's Keenan Allen. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? They'll come up now for second down and four. On the bootleg, it's Williams. 
man, that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at, and that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch, and in this case, what guys are unwilling. He'll get this underneath to Swift. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. This is Jones. And that's not going to yield a whole lot. Up to only about the 23. the draw here's Jones look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards nice run there it's tough to completely celebrate Mike when you don't pick up the first down but that's a run you will take every single time I mean good yardage in a lot of situations it'll get you the first down just not here they'll put Addison in motion to try and run for the first down with Jones. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Motion man, set right. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. Here's second and three to go. They run it once more with Jones. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. Off the play fake. Here's Darnold. He's got his receiver. It's Jones. He's going to have that first down gain of six as they convert on third down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do from the gun it's a run it's jones and they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground 
continue to work the clock or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And he finds a little gain of four. Here's second and six. In motion, it's Jefferson. Again, it's Jones. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often, they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Throwing on third down is Darnold. To the right side, he's got Hawkinson, his tight end. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative, just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. Darnold to throw on first down. Quick throw here is complete. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook. And so far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Now Darnold. That's hauled in at the two. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown Vikings. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter. Get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Now we'll get a two-point try here. Darnold has the offense lined up. He'll drop to throw. Oh, that may be the break they needed. That one's intercepted. Picked off by Tyreek Stevenson. I'm always curious how a defense is going to respond. So you give up a touchdown, you give up six, and now the offense is trying to extend it to eight. How are you going to buckle down? How are you going to hang in there? In this case, let's give them a little credit. Keep those two off the board, and they can come to the sideline and regroup. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The home team's offense getting set to get back to work. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face 
It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. He keeps it himself. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. A play fake. Now Williams. He'll find the first rounder out of Washington, Rome Odunze. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. On first and 10, it's Williams. That's to Odunze again. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, they think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. Just his first catch, they have held him in check so far but that one gives him a first down and this is what the offense needed now after that last completion you still trail here in the fourth quarter you need scores and you need scores fast so they can to the back of the end zone he's got it dj moore touchdown chicago greg they are pecking away at this one now very big touchdown gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? On is Santos for the PAT. He knocks it through, and the Bears have cut the deficit to five. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Ty Chandler now to bring it back. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and Sam Darnold heading back on the field. Eddie has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards, he has been excellent all game long. First and ten. The drive begins with a carry by Jones. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. In motion, it's Jefferson. Play fake to Jones. Now Darnold. A short one taken by Hawkinson.
Here's third and two. A run. It's Jones. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. It'll be a punt coming from the Vikings. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. A fair catch called for and made just beyond their own 15. The home team's offense ready to take over once again. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here and they'll begin it with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll tuck it and take off. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, they come up for second and two. They'll drop to throw. He'll swing this out to Swift. And he's got this up close to the 35-yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. On the out, connecting with Allen. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Here comes second down. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. They go right back to Allen. He's got it again. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and 10. Williams to the air once more. That is left side and taken in by Allen. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. And now, after that catch, they've got a chance here late, Mike. They've got enough time to try to move this thing down. I think they can win the game on this possession. And he'll plunge forward to the two, setting up second and goal. Now, second and goal. To throw, it's Williams. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And now, third and goal coming up. So now after that last incompletion, this brings up a critical third down. But remember, Mike, they don't have to get it all here in one play. They've got third and fourth down. There's no punt. There's no kick. They've got to treat this like it's their final possession of the game. And, and this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead. 
here in the final minute of play. Ah, oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. This is why film study is so important, Mike. It feels to me like the defense recognized that formation from during the week in practice. They knew exactly what was coming, and what's a critical play on that two-point try? Defense is able to get a stop. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Powell now to bring it back. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Vikings offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And it's been a struggle all afternoon. The defense done a great job taking him away from his game, taking his weapons away, and he is yet to find anything to lean on in this one. This is first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He'll look underneath here for Jones. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. They'll come up now for second down. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's to the outside, and he's got Jefferson. And he's out of bounds with the first down, so they get a new set of downs, and just as importantly, stop the clock. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers, everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Darnold to the air once more is open middle of the field it is caught and they're going to get this ball down to the 20 yard line this offense still has the one timeout to use first and 10 coming up now A quick toss into the hands of Addison. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. So 
A big one coming here for the kicker, John Parker Romo. This a potential game winner. So now, out comes the field goal unit in this pressure spot. This one, he's got to have. This kick is good. And they take the lead in the final minute of this game. Well, there's no more pressure-filled spot for a kicker than that one right here, Mike. I mean, it's very simple. You make it, you win. You miss it, you lose. And what's he do? He comes through to not only give his team the lead, but most likely the victory. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. And he's brought down, but they are out of timeouts. Here's second down. Here's Williams now to throw. That's going to be incomplete, so no help there. And we're likely down to a final snap. Here we go. Third and a yard. Here we go. One final play. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. So it is a win for our visitors, the Vikings. They took this one down to the wire. The late field goal does the trick. And they walk away with the victory. So that'll do it for us for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.